I am going off this picture that I saw Morphe post. They actually reposted it from this talented makeup artist. Her name is, I don't even know. <laughs> but this is her right here. This is her Instagram. This is the picture I'm going off of. It's not going to be exact, but I'm going off of this picture. I love the pinks and the purples and jewels, of course. So it's going to be similar. This is freaking gorgeous. So I already primed my eyes and did my eyebrows. So one eye is going to be like regular makeup and then the rest is going to be the skull. I'm not going to talk through this tutorial. It's going to be a voiceover because if I do, we'll be here forever. So let's get started. So after jamming out to my song, I am going to go ahead and take the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and take the shade in Flamingo, which is a hot pink shade. And I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and blend that in my crease as well as my outer V. I'm just going to switch out the palette and use a different shade of pink. It's still hot pink, but it's just a little bit deeper. And we're going to take a smaller blending brush and add that to the outer V as well as the crease to just intensify that pink further. Then I'm going to go in with that same palette and use the deep purple shade. I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and add that to my outer V. And whatever's left on that brush, I just go ahead and blend that into the crease. Then after I switch to another brush, which is even smaller, and this intensify the color even more, the smaller the brush, the more intensified that color will show up. Then I take a matte black shade and the exact same brush and I do the exact same technique I just did with the purple. This is just going to deepen up the outer V and crease a little bit more. Then I go in with this MAC glitter, it's a 3D glitter, it's in purple and I'm obsessed with it. I first take a glitter glue by Too Faced and apply that to my lid, then I apply the glitter right on top. I use padding motions. Don't swipe because then the glitter just going to go everywhere. Then I skipped this part, but I added some false lashes only to the one side of my face. Sorry, I just received the text. <laughs> but anyways, I added some lashes, my primer. Now I'm going in with foundation. And now I'm adding concealer. After the concealer, I add powder. I didn't record that, but yeah. And we're going to go back in with the one eye and I'm going to take this definer brush and take the deep purple and just define my lower lash line. Then I go back in with a pencil brush and the hot pink shade and I just blend the purple out. Okay, now we're going to move on to the more difficult part of the makeup look. I'm taking this palette full of paint with different colors. I just got this on Amazon. A few years ago for maybe like 20 bucks something like that the original version is from makeup forever and it's like over a hundred dollars so I read right on Amazon and it's exactly the same so anyways I'm taking this small brush it's really defined and I'm taking the deep purple and going across my face so this is like the line that separates the two parts it almost gives an illusion of wearing a mask which is really cool it's not perfect right now, but we go back in and 
do all the defining later on. Now I'm taking the hot pink and the white, mixing it together, applying it to my face, taking the sponge and blending it all over. Alright, once we blend that down to our neck as well, I'm going in with the black in the paint palette and I am going to create the eyes. I kind of just use my eyebrow as a guideline and circle around my eye. This doesn't have to be perfect, which is really easy. Then I take a flat brush with the black shade and just fill in the whole thing. Now after this, I take a matte black eyeshadow and I apply that right over the whole eye because this paint is I want to say kind of oily at least the black is so if you don't set it then it's just gonna like gradually fade away throughout the night so you definitely have to set it so that way it lasts longer and the same thing with the white Then I take the same brush and the black and I make almost like a V, one point higher than the other and then I just bring it down and trace the shape of my nose. I'm going to do the same thing and fill in the guy line and also take a black shadow and set everything in place so it doesn't move as well. Okay, so moving on to the probably most difficult part of this besides the rhinestones is the mouth area and the teeth area. So you want to take your time with this and just do a guide. You can always go back and fix it. I kind of do two lines and then kind of like a hill on each other side. If that makes any sense. Then I fill it in as well. Set it all with a black eyeshadow. I'm telling you it's so important because you don't want that paint to move throughout the day. Okay, so we go back in with the pink in the paint palette and I just go ahead and shade around the eye area just to give it a little bit more dimension and I also do this to the jaw area as well. Just blending it with the brush, nothing too crazy, it's super easy. Okay, so now going back in with the purple shade, I'm doing the exact same thing across the face. This adds more dimension. It might seem like an unnecessary part in the makeup tutorial, but it's not. You actually really want to do this because this just gives it more dimension, like gives it an effect. So I just take that purple shade and kind of just blend it with the tip of the brush, like outwards. Nothing too crazy. And I do this with the jaw line as well. Okay, so moving on to the most annoying part of this look, 
but this is what makes the look honestly it's all the rhinestones without the rhinestones this look wouldn't be as cool as it is but the most annoying part of it was gluing the back of the rhinestones and sticking them onto the face they tend to fall they tend to move like it was just so annoying it took forever this was the longest part of the makeup look so enjoy the next couple minutes of me putting rhinestones all over my face By the way, I use eyelash glue to stick all those rhinestones on my face. So just imagine how fun it was after trying to remove this. Anyways, I take the same loose glitter by MAC, the purple 3D one, and I just apply it to the areas that I'm applying right now. So like around the eyes and the jaw area. Just to add more glam, you know? Now I take the rhinestones and glue it on my lips to look like teeth. This part was kind of annoying as well just because like it felt like they were going to come off although they were stuck um i felt like they were going to come off the whole time but anyways i'm just gluing them on my lips and then we're moving on to the black well actually this is the dark purple and i take the same brush and i go in between just so it looks like you know like an x-ray and then i fill in my lips with the black and then once I'm done filling in the black, I take the pink and I go in between the teeth as well. This just all gives it dimension. Okay guys, so I am done. I'm finished. This is the final look. I can barely talk because of the rhinestones on my lip. I don't want them to fall. If you were to do this look for Halloween, I would try doing glitter for the teeth instead of rhinestones because these probably will fall off. You know the more you talk and things like that and you don't want that hassle like if we're just going to like a family party then yeah but if you're going out on halloween like and you're gonna drink stick with like just basic teeth just do glitter but i'm obsessed with how this freaking came out it looks so good like i'm so happy and yeah so this is my final look for halloween it was definitely a bit of a struggle you know some parts were harder than others but i love how it came out what do you guys think i'm so sad because literally i did all this work it took me three hours and then i'm just gonna take pictures and then take it off like it makes me sad but you know it's okay i have so much fun creating looks like this I like literally enjoy it and those three hours went by so freaking quick. But yeah, I'm loving it. But yeah, if I don't see you guys for Halloween, happy Halloween. I hope you guys stay safe, you have fun. It's on a Thursday, so that makes it fun this year because you know, the day after is Friday and then it's the weekend. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.